as Hurricane Ian carried the Calusa Hatchie into downtown Fort Myers. Turning hallways into waterways, Bobby Noakley and his family found shelter at the Luminary Hotel. The water was inches, and that's not an exaggeration, inches from coming in the front door. Noakley, the GM for the hotel, really isn't exaggerating. See for yourself. This footage shows the storm surge just shy of the first floor. So, you know, this building uh, fared incredibly well. You know, it was put to the test. The luminary lost some signage, including its big U, but the doors and windows held strong. And while some water snuck through sliders on upper floors, it stayed out of the main level. There's a certain amount of pride, certain uh, um, um, sense of satisfaction that, that we've done our job, we've done our job well. Jonathan Ray is an architect with HOK, the firm that designed the luminary. While they never imagined it faced such a storm just two years after opening, it was designed with its location and hurricanes at the forefront. The hotel is on what's called a plinth. It's raised above other buildings, and the sleek and simple look is by design. The slight bend you notice actually makes it more rigid. We purposely avoided alcoves, recesses, those types of things. So the resiliency uh, is so that the building can uh, not only perform in the hurricane, but recover from it afterwards. It did both. The design team raised up the emergency generator with the hotel, so the luminary was able to reopen just days after the storm. That mattered um, because the guests that came into this hotel were first responders. We did okay. Uh, our neighbors did not do okay. Withstanding the storm would allow the luminary to serve a bigger purpose. They hosted state emergency crews and helped those who lost everything. It's a story they now tell through that U on the sign, which now sits in the middle of their lobby. A reminder that when it comes to resilience, it wasn't just a building. It's the people. Yeah, we had a bump in the road. Um, this was unprecedented, whether you've lived in Florida your whole life or a few years. Um, but it represents the absolute resiliency and path forward um, to restoring life and livelihood uh, to the district here. Reporting local from downtown Fort Myers, I'm Evan Dean for NBC2.